Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on the new and improved way to mod and install mods for rounds. And this is something that makes the process infinitely easier. So first of all, you're gonna wanna click the top link in the description down below, which will bring you to Overwolf uh, and bring you to the Thunderstore Mod Manager. So you're gonna go ahead and download that. It'll install an installer that you obviously open up and uh, it should start the uh, download right away. Um, and and, uh, you know, kind of open up this installer. So you'll just go ahead and click next. Uh, and, you know, you can choose where you want the installation to go for. Uh, I'm going to just let it be in its default place. You go ahead and accept the terms and everything. And then it's going to go ahead and download uh, the entire kind of platform and extract all the files and all of that good stuff. And then once it's installed, you'll go ahead and launch it here and it'll kind of do it's like first time, you know, preparing for first launch. Uh, and, you know, just this will obviously take a little bit longer than it normally will uh, once you open it up in the future. Uh, then it'll kind of ask you which game you're, uh, you know, modding for. So if you've done things like Risk of Rain 2 modding, you definitely are familiar with this. But you'll go ahead and select rounds uh, and you'll uh, create a profile. There's already a profile <laughs> in here from uh, when I was doing it. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. But you will just create a new profile. Um, you know, I'll call it, uh, you know, rounds mods. You know, you can call it whatever you want. doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll go ahead and select the profile. And then in this already, if you click online, it'll already show you all of the mods that are currently out here. Um, and you can just click them and you can download them. And um, you'll download with the dependencies and stuff like this, which this might actually install. Yeah, it installed four of the mods already because it, uh, you know, um, kind of needs some. So I, what I would do is I would just go ahead and download every single mod, obviously on the newest, you know, version of them. You can see there's check marks to the left of or to the right, um, you know, if you already own it. So just go ahead and do them all um, because what's really, really cool is, um, you know, you download, you uh, download... Um, and I think we got one more here, cursor lock, that's a good one. Uh, and then what you can do is you can go into your install mods and uh, you can kind of, you know, make them, you know, go up or down or whatever, but you can actually disable them individually. So this is what you could do is say you have a lot of mods at once that you don't all want to be activated at once. You can actually disable them here without having to completely uninstall them or stuff like that. So then once you do that, you can click start modded here. Uh, it'll launch via Steam, um, you know, kind of obviously open up the, the, the game through Steam and um, at this point here uh, it should do what you're kind of used to um, it should show you unbound rounds here uh, if you press F1 it'll for all of the mods that have options available to them so like the toggle card mod it'll have all of these where you can enable disable them uh, you know this one here remove post FX options so I like to remove shakes and chromatic aberration especially when playing with mods because uh, you know it gets really really chaotic uh, player color you know when you you want to do that rounds after continue uh, options so all of the ones that have options will still be by pressing f1 that'll open up the menu and then from there you that that's that's modded rounds and that's the entire installation process and what's cool is you know if you go back to the uh, launcher and stuff you know you can you know like i said see you know all of the mods you have installed um you can also see them in here but also if you click the uh you know other link in the description it'll bring you to kind of the uh, full page of all of the mods where you can just go ahead and you know click each one look at all the details and stuff like this uh some of the mods that i I would definitely recommend is the PCE mod that adds like 10 new cards to the game. You have the cards plus mod that adds like six new cards to the game. Rounds with friends that adds like 2v2 or free for all up to four players if you want that. A lot of good stuff here and this is just the start of the uh, mods for rounds because we've had mods for a little bit but now that it is this easy to install and download and set up you can just you know bet that more and more people are going to be doing it and also if you want an awesome community uh, that's kind of in charge of all of this, uh, the third link in the description down below uh, will be the Discord channel um, in case you have any questions about this or anything like that, or if you want a place to find some people to play with modded rounds, because obviously if you mod the game with some of these things like the card expansions, you're not going to be able to play with randoms because they're probably not going to have the mods. So um, definitely check out the community. Uh, they are super, super friendly and stuff like that. And also, uh, if you want to see what modded rounds looks like, it is one of the longest running Let's Play series on my channel. So definitely check out um, those videos. They are a ton of fun to play and watch. Um, so definitely recommend doing that. But uh, if you want to just keep on seeing more modded round stuff in the future, consider subscribing 
subscribing, ringing that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say uh, to be notified when those videos come out. But if you're going to be modding some rounds in the uh, future, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.